Hi everyone, I'm English teacher Melanie. In this English lesson, you're going to learn about stress and why it's so important in spoken English. You're going to learn the difference between stressed, unstressed, and reduced syllables. When a word is pronounced, it's naturally divided into parts called syllables. Each syllable has only one vowel sound, but it can have one or more consonant sounds. For example, man is one syllable, woman is two syllables, and telephone is three syllables. In spoken English, all the syllables in a word are not equal. One syllable is stressed, meaning that it's said louder and longer than other syllables in a word. In the word telephone, the first syllable is stressed. The vowel sound is fully pronounced. This is also called the primary stress or the strong stress. If one syllable is stressed, that means the other syllables are unstressed. Unstressed syllables are not as loud or long as stressed syllables. There are two kinds of unstressed syllables. Some unstressed syllables keep their vowel sound, but some unstressed syllables are reduced. In the word telephone, the last syllable, phone, is unstressed, but it keeps its full vowel sound. This is also called the secondary stress, or the weak stress. The middle syllable is reduced. To reduce something means to make it smaller or shorter. A reduced syllable is made shorter by saying it quickly and changing the vowel sound to the schwa sound, a. Uh. Listen carefully. Telephone. Telephone. Stress is very important in English pronunciation and listening. Stress is part of how to say an English word. English speakers expect to hear a stressed syllable. If the wrong syllable is stressed or no syllable is stressed, then it will take longer for your listener to understand what you're saying, or your listener may not understand you at all. How do you know which syllable is which? You need to listen carefully to spoken English. When you hear a new word, try to imitate the sounds you hear. When you see a new word, don't try to pronounce it the way it looks. An English word doesn't always tell you how it's pronounced. For example, there's a difference in pronunciation between the words late and chocolate even though both words end with L-A-T-E. Look up new words in a dictionary specifically for English learners. You'll see a list of dictionaries below this video. The dictionary will show you the IPA transcription of the word. The apostrophe tells you where the stress is in the word. If you click on the speaker icon, you can hear someone say the word. Now you know the difference between stressed, unstressed, and reduced syllables, and why stress is so important in spoken English. Click like if you want to see more lessons like this. Click share to tweet this video and post it on Facebook to share with your friends. In the description below, click on the link to go to EnglishTeacherMelanie.com and sign up for the email list so you can be one of the first to see my new lessons. Bye everyone.